so we're back. This time we're going to try again, and we're going to I'm going to fly straight out in front of me where there's no obstacles or anything that could block me, like trees. Take off. Put in sport mode. Take it up to 300 feet and we'll go from there. And we'll just go straight ahead where they see them windmills. So we're going like 11 mile hour up. So at 300 feet, we'll just go from here. And we'll go see how far we can get, see if it starts losing its signal again. We'll have to see, see what happens with that. Because I'm not sure, it shouldn't lose signal after a mile if its range is 4.3 or 4.2. Round it off to four mile. <laughs> so I've got four so far. Got nineteen twenty satellites. I can't see anyone on the beach, so hopefully they don't think I'm recording if they are on the beach. So we're at 3,000 over. We've got three, so it's still going to go down to, oh, we've got four again. I have got an ND filter on this, what, you know, like UV filter, what stops most of the sun. So we're at over 4,000, we're just about to go over the sea. And we're at still four to three bars, so. We're at three bars now. But back up to four, so and we're at over five thousand, so I don't know if we're just gonna all of a sudden lose signal when we get to six thousand, but we'll just find out how it goes. I know it's gonna be windy over the beach because there's always a uh, breeze. See there's the sea. Apparently them windmills out there are two miles away. I think there's a lot more than that if I'm honest. So we're over six, so I guess them trees did have an effect on the distance of this travel. So a recommendation, if you're going to fly a drone, fly it away from people, obviously, and then fly it in open space. I'm at Gibraltar Point and it's a nature reserve. And I think I have read online it's like four kilometres big or wide or how large it is. Because I'm over seven and I've still got three bars, so it does. And I'm in sport mode, so it's going to drain the battery a lot quicker, but I've got... 87% battery, so this one's going a lot better than the other one, I think. So how close we can get to the windmills. Oh, well, yeah, we've got just, oh, three bar, two bar, weak signal. So weak signal over 8,000. And just adjust the antenna, see if that'll make a difference. Oh, we've gone back up to three. Oh, we've gone, see, we're losing it, so... If I could get up to, like, 10,000, I think that's pretty good. We're over a mile. Yeah, so if I keep adjusting these antennas, it does make a difference, obviously, because it's signal. But we're going over the sea. I never thought I'd fly my drone over a sea. I spoke to a few people who've done it, and it didn't have no problem. So we're over 10,000 away. I don't know what HD means, but the remote signal is 2. keeps going up to 3, so hopefully it goes back up to 3. We're 11,000. Oh, it's gone up to three again. So, yeah, it just it all depends where you're flying. I'm in sport mode, so but yeah, we're going to catch them windmills up, it looks like. So, 12,000. I don't know what 12,000 is. I think 16 is I mean, I'm going to keep if we get to 16, that is that's what I'm going to stop it at because I think that is actually three miles or so. 16,000, six, six, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, yeah, it'd be like nearly, I think, I don't know. Yeah, back up to three. So we do keep going down to no signal on the controller. 
we're at 14,000. Still going. Them windmills must be high because it's about the same height as my drone. We're catching, we're getting, we're catching the windmills up, people. <laughs> yeah, so I'm ha the, the first one didn't go too well, but I'm happy with this one. I've never been this far out to sea unless I'm on a boat, and I've never been on a boat. Any sharks? <laughs> So this looks like it'll go on forever. We're nearly at 16,000 on transmission. Yeah, if I keep changing these. Yeah, so I'm gonna stop at 16. So there's the windmills. Let's we'll see, we've gone back up to three. So this will keep going and going and going until it loses signal, but I wanna bring it back with plenty of battery. So we're gonna see how far we are away. Oh my freaking God. I wasn't expecting it to be that far. We are miles out, literally miles. And we've still got three bars. So this is Gibraltar and Skegness and, take, and probably even Butlins we're seeing from this distance. So we'll just take the big map up and we'll show you where we are, look. So on this map, it doesn't look too far, but can, if I turn this round, it will, will nearly be in Skegness. So it's, it is over three mile away. So let's return it to home. Because it's 